Trails of tear gas fired at anti-government protesters. Sudanese security forces try to disperse demonstrators in the capital, Khartoum. For the first time since the start of the rallies in December, thousands of people have managed to take their protest to President Omar al-Bashir's doorstep. Chanting, one army, one people, protesters gathered outside the presidential compound, which also houses the defense ministry and army headquarters. Answering the call of opposition leader Sadiq al-Mahdi, they're demanding the resignation of Omar al-Bashir, in power since 1989. Al-Mahdi on Friday issued an ultimatum to the veteran leader from the neighboring city of Omdurman. I call on President Bashir to resign, dissolve all constitutional institutions, and form a 25-member council to govern the country. What began as a protest in the capital over the government's decision to triple the price of bread on the 19th of December rapidly escalated into a nationwide movement opposing Omar al-Bashir's 30-year rule. But since the declaration of a state of emergency on the 22nd of February, anti-government protesters have been violently quelled. Officials say some 30 people have been killed, but Human Rights Watch says the figure is closer to 50 and that the victims include children and medics.